guys, I'm Nina and this is the Project for Awesome. In the past, I've made videos for Up for a Cause, The Harry Potter Alliance, This Star Won't Go Out, Rain, and NaNoWriMo, just to name a few. And I've always done this because of what I was going through at the time or what I have have gone through previously, and this year is no different. This year, I chose the Trevor Project. The Trevor Project runs a crisis hotline, and in the wake of the election, I had to text a crisis hotline because I didn't know when. I wanted to die. I didn't want to kill myself, but I wanted to die. And I had to realize that those two things are connected, but one's a slightly more outsider looking in. It felt like I was on the outside of the glass rather than the inside. That's that's an incredibly hard place to be. The thing about my story is that it's not unique in the wake of the election. The Trevor Project has seen a surge in the number of calls and texts that they get in chat room because they have a, a, a chat base like an, a, an AOL or Skype or Google Hangout text box that you can do on the, on the interwebs. and. They've, they've seen an extraordinary number of people through a difficult time, especially after the election and dealing with people and unknowns, especially during the holidays. That's a hard thing to, to like have to reconcile with. They're gonna keep fighting. They're gonna keep doing the hard work. They're gonna keep fighting uh, LGBT youth homelessness, which is an incredibly huge part of the the community and the lives of people in our community and no doubt that had a surge in after the election too they're gonna keep continuing to fight for lgbt anti-discrimination laws and they're going to keep their crisis hotline center open and free to the public which is incredibly important and as much as i love the hail marys that are in the pipeline and there are don't you worry about that. Like, it's now a time to be practical. Being practical means that we have support and you know we have somebody who has our back. Emmys and aces and buy pans. It's all, we all need to fight for each other. And the Trevor Project gives, gives LGBT youth a voice, especially in the wake of a time when they may have had a voice, but probably didn't. We're making sure that the president and vice president elect know that we're fighting back. We've tasted freedom and we're not letting them roll, roll it back. The Trevor Project will continue to fight, but they're going to need funding to do it. And while this is a Project for Awesome video about the Trevor Project and crisis hotlines, I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to also donate or upvote Planned Parenthood, the ACLU, Lambda, and the NAACP, which are all going to need critical funding in the time of a Trump presidency. We're going to fight back, and it's going to be okay, but it's going to be a long four years ahead of us. They got elected and became our problem, but they also got elected and we became their problem. So let us tell them exactly what our problems are and get something done in the next four years. Bite hard, don't normalize, and love yourself, and I hope you're here with us in four years when we can make a great change to this great nation. I hope you're around in two years they don't get to tell us that this is gonna be the new normal. Only you get to decide the new normal. And my normal is Christmas trees and protest. Love you guys. I hope you're having a good project for awesome and I hope you have a good year. But know that there's always gonna be someone there if you don't. Till I see you next time. Bye guys.